Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how to get extra free storage on your iPhone. You probably have seen a section of the storage that says others that is always in gigs and of course it takes quite a lot of space but what's that and how to clear it so you get more free storage on your iphone of course i will show that in this video it is really important of course for every user to get more free space especially if you have an iphone that has lower storage and of course another really really important thing is the like button in this video that helps out a lot so make sure you smash the like button for the algorithm all right, so when you go to your settings, to general, and you go to your iPhone storage, right here you will see at the top everything that is taking up space on your device. And right there you will also see other. Now what you'll find right there is like apps, data, they are like Siri voices, fonts, dictionary, and stuff like that. There are a lot of things, of course, that you can do to improve that and just free up quite a lot of space on your device. Now, the first thing you can do, which is really, really simple, is reboot your device. Now, this will actually help because it will help iOS like adjust stuff because if iOS doesn't know like where to put files, they will be on that other section. So make sure you reboot your device. You can do that simply by pressing the volume up, volume down, and holding the side button until you see the Apple logo and that's a reboot and of course that should help free up some space on the other section. The next thing you can do is check apps data. Now there are a lot of data from apps that of course might be safe on that section. Now right here we'll see a list of all of your apps. If you go to one of your apps you can see files right here down here if they have files just like you see on podcasts here but these are not saved under the other these are of course under podcast but other apps that are third-party apps might have data saved on the other section so just go ahead and check your apps and see if they have data here and if you see something that you know what it is and you don't need it then you can go ahead and simply delete it from here now if you also see an app that it's taking quite a lot of space on your device and it shouldn't maybe like gigs like snapchat or maybe instagram or some app like that then what you can do is actually go ahead and delete that app because it has a lot of files that are cached and are saved right there on the other section so just go ahead and delete the app and what you can do is of course just go ahead and reinstall it from the app store and for some time it will be good to go as of course those apps will again just accumulate right there data but that of course will take quite a lot of time so just that way you can free a ton of space on your device. Another thing that will be saved on the other section are Siri voices. Now you can actually of course get like different voices for Siri but you can also delete them from your device and they take quite a lot of space. Now you can find them by going under accessibility. When you go here, go to spoken content and you will have here a section that says voices. Now right here we'll find all the voices. So if I go into English right here, you can see I have Siri. Here we have four voices for Siri and you can see how much space they take. Now these are the default ones. You cannot delete these, but if you have downloaded other ones, like you can see all these have the arrow right here from where you can download them you can go into them right here so if i go on this voice right here you can see i can tap the edit button and now i can delete both of these from my device and they take you can see right here they will take quite a lot of space so just go ahead and swipe like this or tap the edit button you can actually go ahead and remove these voices from your device so just try that once more so here that's deleted now and just like that you can have those voices deleted and free up a ton of space on your device now another thing that might take a lot of space is fonts so if you have downloaded fonts on your device and you're actually not using them or you don't need them make sure to check them by going to the general settings go here and go under fonts and if you have any installed they will be right here and you will be able to delete them another thing is dictionaries now if you have enabled a lot of dictionaries they will of course be downloaded on your device and that way they will take space which will basically be saved right there 
on the other section. So from here, you can see we have a ton of different dictionaries. If I tap on one of them, you can see it is downloading it right now. Now, what you need to do here is just unselect these and you're good to go. You don't need to do anything else. If you have like dictionaries enabled, you can see all of these are being downloaded right now. If you have these enabled and you don't need them, then go ahead and quickly just unselect them from here. Now Safari will also take a lot of space right there on the other storage. That will be of course website data and cache things that Safari has saved. Now basically to remove them you have two ways. You can go under the Safari section which you can find of course on the settings app if you go right here. You can just go ahead and clear history and website data. Just like that it will clear the complete history that you have on Safari and the data that websites have stored right there as well. But if you don't want to clear your history, you just want to remove the data, you can go back here, go to general and go into iPhone storage. Now, if you go here, just find Safari. So it should be somewhere here. So here we have Safari, you tap on it and right here you can see it basically shows everything that Safari has saved. So you can see history is not even one megabyte. If you look at website data, you can see we have 153. You go there and all you have to do here is just go ahead and swipe like this if you want to delete them individually. But if you want to completely delete all the data that basically these websites have stored on your device, you just tap right here and you will have the option here to remove all the data from your device. Now, of course, there are other things that will help you have more free space on your device. These are just like general tips that I will give to you guys not for the other storage so you can go always of course the iPhone storage and from here this is basically the best way to do that so you can see right here we have recently deleted the stuff that we have on the recently deleted album you can clear that from here you can go to things like podcast and see here all the different episodes that I have downloaded on my device and I don't really need them to be downloaded I can just go ahead and just like that remove them from my device or you can go to things like maybe your music you go to music you can see here all of your artists that you have actually downloaded locally on your device and that of course are taking space on your device and you can remove them from here as well and you can also find here on my iphone now what you will find here is stuff that you have downloaded from safari if you go here on my iphone you will see everything that basically has been downloaded to your device and from here you will be able to go ahead and delete these things from your device and of course free up a ton of space so if you have like things here maybe videos or something like that that are taking quite a lot of space you can always do that from there and it is really really simple to do another thing that will take a ton of space or attachments on iMessage. So if you use iMessage all the time, make sure that you always go into messages and from here we'll have a few options. So if you go lower here, you will find here basically low quality image mode. Basically this will save quite a lot of space. And if you go to message history, then you can also choose here when you want to automatically delete the messages that you get. Of course, you can choose 30 days or one year. Now, of course, if you have really important messages that you need to keep, don't do that because they will be, of course, deleted automatically from your device. Another thing that I really, really like on the iPhone is the ability to enable upload unused apps. This is probably one of the most underrated features of iOS. You go into the app store section and enable right here upload unused apps basically what this does it just takes apps that you haven't used for a while and deletes them from your device but you won't lose anything if you again need that app you just go ahead and reinstall it from the app store and you will have all of your data there this will just basically remove the, the app from your device so that it doesn't take up space but you will still have your data once you have the app reinstalled so that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did also don't forget to subscribe for more and i will see you on the next video